The James Webb Telescope just spotted something we were never meant to see, artificial light glowing from an interstellar object. Not a star, not a comet, something emitting its own signal in the void. This isn't just a cosmic anomaly, it's a message, and it may not be meant for us. If you want to stay updated on incredible discoveries like this one, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on the latest revelations from space, arrival of the unknown. When the Atlas survey team picked up a strange object on the outer edge of the solar system, it didn't look like much, just a dim, drifting speck against the dark. But within days, that speck earned a name that would change everything. 3AI Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected, following Oumuamua and Borisov. Unlike asteroids or comets born in our solar system, 3AI Atlas was moving fast on a hyperbolic path, too fast to be bound by the sun's gravity. That's what gave it away. Its velocity and trajectory meant it came from beyond, crossing into our solar neighborhood from the deep galactic unknown. It wasn't just another rock. It was a visitor. Objects like these don't orbit, they pass through, said one NASA researcher. They're not part of us. At first, scientists assumed it was a comet, perhaps loosely held together, shedding dust and ice as it neared the sun. But the early data refused to cooperate. The object was too bright for its estimated size, and its glow didn't behave like typical sunlight reflection. Unlike comets, which flicker and flare as ice vaporizes, 3AI Atlas held a steady luminosity. It didn't dim. It didn't burst. It shimmered like a light bulb, not like something reflecting light, but something making it. Telescopes worldwide were quickly redirected. Expectations were high. Would this object follow the playbook, or had it come with different rules? From that moment, 3AI Atlas shifted from a curiosity to a mystery. The anomaly was clear, but it was just the beginning. Glow where glow shouldn't be. As soon as the Hubble Space Telescope turned its eye toward 3AI, things became more unsettling. The glow didn't match the behavior of dust or gas reacting to the sun. It had a sunward brightness, but there was no tail, no jetting particles, no sign of outgassing. The surface brightness also followed an unusual pattern. It dropped off sharply with distance, steeper than the usual minus two or minus three slope seen in comets. Instead, it followed something closer to minus four, suggesting not reflection but a localized source of light. If it were reflecting sunlight, it would behave like other comets. This didn't, explained Dr. Avi Loeb of Harvard. We had to consider the possibility that it was emitting its own light. Loeb proposed a bold idea. The nucleus itself, the object's core, might be glowing from within. A powered object. Something designed, something operating. This is where the story shifts from science to speculation. Was this just exotic dust physics? Could there be natural explanations we hadn't yet imagined? Some physicists suggested a cloud of microscopic grains scattering light in an unusual way. Others proposed unusual ice compositions, or even rare volcanic-like activity. But no model fit all the data. The consistency of the glow, its alignment, and its unusual wavelength distribution hinted at something artificial. Scientists noticed that the light wasn't broadband. It was focused, tight, more like a beacon than a mirror. There was an unnatural precision to it, said one astronomer. Like it wasn't just shining, it was aimed. At this point, the object's glow wasn't just a mystery. It became the leading clue in a growing pile of evidence that this might be something more than just space debris. And if that was true, then the next question was inevitable. What exactly is powering it? That question would lead scientists to the James Webb Space Telescope and a look inside the object that would only deepen the mystery. James Webb Space Telescope's deep look at composition and internal activity. When the James Webb Space Telescope was brought into the investigation, scientists expected clarity. Instead, they got contradiction. Webb's infrared instruments, designed to pierce through gas and dust, returned a spectrum that didn't align with any known cometary profile. The most startling finding was that the coma, the cloud of material surrounding the object, was dominated by carbon dioxide. In most comets, water ice is the primary volatile compound. But here the CO2 to H2O ratio was nearly 8.1. That's not just unusual, it's extreme. Such a high ratio implies a composition unlike anything were found in local comets. It suggests that 3AI either formed in an environment far colder than any region we've 
studied or underwent some process that stripped its water. Ice away while preserving CO2, something we haven't seen before. Alongside CO2, Webb detected traces of water vapor, carbon monoxide, and a sulfur compound called OCS. Dust was also present, but its behavior remained difficult to model. The emitted heat pattern showed no typical solar heating curve. Instead, the thermal profile hinted at an internal heat source, radiating outward from within the object, rather than being passively warmed by the sun. Researchers also flagged the object's thermal emission pattern as irregular. Instead of a steady increase or decrease in response to solar distance, it pulsed softly but rhythmically. That cycle was subtle, but it didn't match any known natural process. At this point, a new possibility emerged. This wasn't just an object emitting heat. It might be doing so by design. However, not all data pointed cleanly to one conclusion. The size of the nucleus was still uncertain. The surrounding dust cloud made it hard to tell how much of the infrared signature came from the object itself versus the material around it. Some astronomers cautioned that we might be seeing complex dust masking, not machinery. But even with those doubts, the key fact remained. The emission pattern, the extreme CO2 ratio, and the internal heat didn't add up to a natural explanation. Whatever 3AI was, it was not behaving like a comet. That mystery deepened further when scientists began to track how it interacted with water and dust. To understand what was really happening, researchers turned to ultraviolet instruments aboard the Swift Space Telescope. What they found was another clue, a strong signature of hydroxyl radicals, which form when sunlight breaks apart water molecules. This was proof that 3AI was producing water vapor. But the rate was strangely inconsistent with its glow. Normally, water vapor emissions help explain how a comet brightens. The more active the surface, the more sunlight-driven vaporization we see. But here, the calculated active area required to produce the observed water didn't match with what Webb was seeing in terms of heat or surface texture. Something wasn't aligning. Further observations revealed that the object's brightness and color were changing in ways that didn't match known cometary cycles. It wasn't just reflecting more sunlight as it got closer to the sun. It was shifting in a way that looked deliberate, even engineered. Photometric data showed a slow greening, then a sudden return to a more neutral tone, something that typically indicates a composition change in the material being ejected. But again, it didn't follow natural trends. Polarimetry studies added even more confusion. The way light polarized as it bounced off the object showed patterns inverted from standard comet dust. Instead of a smooth curve, there was a negative polarization branch, a dip where there should be a rise. This suggested either unusual particle shapes or anomalous surface chemistry. Most telling, however, was how the coma, the surrounding cloud of gas and dust, transformed over time. Early on, it looked dense and chaotic. Weeks later, it became thin and symmetrical. One possible interpretation, the dust was being ejected in a controlled manner, not randomly. No one wanted to say it, but the data kept pointing in one direction. The heat, the dust, the water, all of it was out of sync. If this was a natural object, it was the strangest one we'd ever seen. And if it wasn't, then the question wasn't just what it was made of, but who made it. Trajectory, motion, and behavior that defy randomness.